few weeks ago I was camping at a blockade initiated by members of the Mi'kmaq Warrior Society to stop a motherfracking company called Southwestern Energy, or SWINE, from exploring their traditional territory for natural gas. This had been an escalation after many motherfucking months of peeps getting their asses beat by the murderous villains of the Royal Colonial Mountain Po Niners, or RCM Pigs. You loser! You pig! You piece of pork! When you go in there, got some baking cure and pig! I'm the big pig! I'm the big pig! Loser! The warriors held their ground, stopping all motherfucking activity in the area until October 17th when over 200 belligerent, steroid-filled pork stables descended on the camp like jack-booted fascist stormtroopers. This has to be the scariest shit I've ever been through. But I managed to fake being a badass long enough to avoid shitting on my pants. In the end, the real heroes that day were the folks from the community who came to support the warriors and stood their ground until all the piggies were gone. Oh yeah, and they managed to torch six of their fucking pigmobiles. In the aftermath of the raid, there's been much shit talking about the warrior society by the motherfucking mainstream media. So we're reluctant to crack down on organized Indian crime, as opposed to organized Hells Angels crime or mafia crime. So it's not just our social guilt, it's our politicians' fear. Oh, they remember the Oka standoff where Heavily armed Oak Mohawk warriors stared down the Canadian forces and a Quebec policeman was murdered. But in the end, those chode rockers don't really know shit about the warriors. Warriors, come out to play. No, 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 not those warriors. These warriors. The warriors react immediately. They use a front-end loader abandoned by the Sûreté du Québec to make several barricades, this time on the main highway, the 344. In 1990, the Warrior Society gained international notoriety for beating back both the Canadian Army and the Higgs from the Mohawk community of Ganasatagi in what is now known as the Oka Crisis. To find out more about the Warrior Society, I spoke with Clifton Nicholas of Ganasatagi. Hey Clifton. How the fuck are you? I'm fucking great, man. So, just what the fuck is the Warrior Society? I have to state, I do not represent the Warrior Society. I do not speak on their behalf. Uh, and I don't even say they, because everybody has this misnomer that, that uh, the Warrior Society is an organization. It's not. It's a movement. It's like, uh, especially the media tried to paint the picture that the Warrior Movement is uh, like organized crime or some kind of almost like a biker gang when we're not. It's not it has nothing to do with that. Uh, there are people who confuse there's a, the, between being a gangster and being a warrior. There's a very diff big difference between the two, and there's a line that divides the two. The Warrior Society is a movement that came came to in the, in, at the, in the late '60s, early '70s. It kind of coincides with the the start of the American Indian movement. Uh, and also uh, the, the uh, rights movements that were going on during the 1960s, the civil rights movement and so on, and the warrior movement, just simply a rekindling of the, 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 the duties and responsibilities of men and women in the, in the traditional societies and the roles and duties in defense of their people. Um, and it's, it's part of the Longhouse. The Longhouse people, the Great Law, the Gaiden at Goa, all governs the actions of this movement. Uh, there are some, I feel, that, that, that take the movement and try and separate it from the longhouse and try and separate it from that and try to have it uh, something that's going to be self-regulating. Self it doesn't work that way. The warrior movement is part of the longhouse. The longhouse controls the warrior movement. And the warriors, there's no membership criteria except being Ngwehua, being native, being indigenous, and having Gainanak Go in your heart. There's the warrior flag that you see from 1990 with the monk on it. That's one flag, but the original warrior flag has a man and a woman this is what it's supposed to be, right? It's not a male-dominated movement. Uh, it's the women who have a big part to play in this movement. And uh, you would hear the media talk about like, uh, what the warriors are hiding behind the women. First of all, you don't tell the Mohawk woman what to do. You know, uh, she, she, she won't take it from you. She'll do what she wants to do. And that's what we, we've known that. We had that wisdom to say that, you know, women have their place and they have a, they have a right to do what they're doing. And they have a right to take part in everything. So then in 1990, when they seen the warriors uh, 
there and the women were approaching the police telling them you know uh, that they have to move they have to go what they're doing is they're not they're not, they're not hiding the men are not hiding by the women the women are actually protecting the, their advers the, our adversaries they're protecting them from us it's their duty and their role to first put that put out that that uh, that olive branch right bring out that laurel you know here let's uh let's discuss this let's uh let's negotiate and they refuse to negotiate with us so you know then the final step is the women the women pull back and the men take over and this is the this is the thing that's a it's a big decision to make that's why in, in traditional in the traditional world in a, in way the way we look at it as Kanyonkahaga people uh, which is mohawk Kanyonkahaga people it's the women who are in charge of warfare it's the women who call the shots it's the women who will decide that men will go to war not men it's not a male decision Women will say to the men, now you can go to war, I buried the fire. I put out the flames, I put out the hearth. You can't come home to the hearth, there's nothing here. You have to go out and fight. So it's a woman's decision. And can you explain what the longhouse is? Okay, the longhouse, it's uh, basically what we call ourselves. Uh, it's based on the traditional dwelling that we used to live in, uh, which is an elongated family dwelling. Uh, that was, uh, again, a, mat a mat matrilocal dwelling. Where, where the, the, the clan would live. In our society, uh, our lineage and our, our lineage and the descent goes through the woman. So it would be the woman's, the, the matriarch's house, which is long and many fires for different families. So you have a nuclear family of a, a mother, a father or husband and, and their child. There'd be a family and each of these families would, have, would share a hearth with another one. So it'd be an elongated house. So uh, the Confederacy of Iroquois nations uh, or we, we, we would call it our Harudunu Shuni in Mohawk, or an Onondaga you hear it as Hudunu Shuni, which literally means the people of the Longhouse. And this is a symbol of, of what, we, what we use as a symbol of our people. Then uh, if you look on a spiritual and political end of it, the Longhouse is the structure that was used uh, to meet and have ceremonies in. So our political structures would be in the Longhouse and our religious ceremonies would be in the longhouse. So you hear the, the pan term, longhouse, in the longhouse, longhouse people. You hear people, Iroquois people saying this often. I've heard peeps say that there are similarities between anarchism and some traditional indigenous cultures. What the fuck? Yeah, as anarchists, I think it's a natural thing for uh, Rudunusuni people to be uh, anarchists. Uh, I always like the, um, the one of the quotes, uh, I don't know what his name was, maybe you can find it in research, it's a Jesuit. Who wrote about uh, who about, wrote about uh, Rodunu Sunni people and Mohawks in particular? And I love what he said when he said, "Each and every one of them are sovereign unto themselves. They follow no one and they take orders from no one." So that, to me, speaks volumes about being an anarchist, who are sovereign unto yourself. You know, you have no kings, you have no masters. And they, the, our people historically did what they wanted, when they wanted, and how they wanted both the men and the women. Thanks, Clifton. With no principles now, shit So I'll spit from the depths of my soul This for the powerless, the voice that never gets to be heard This the return of every native who was silenced And said to be cursed, or worse, said to be burned But I'd rather be in hell than in heaven with them killers and thieves This a rebellion, so tell them we coming They might as well respect it, keep it real while they lying I ain't trying to sell a record, I ain't trying to die neglecting My purpose questions are worthless here I work for years to be sure my people's spirit will persevere So I ain't stopping now until my heart is on the ground I hold it down to speak the truth Y'all too afraid to talk about, so here it is Live and direct, the pride that I rep
is so deep, my ancestors come alive when I spit. I'ma fight to the death. Cause they ain't never stop yet. I cop back. I'm only reconciling when they drop dead. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for my mouth to cut their heads off. Guess what I learned from them? They not concerned with us. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderer. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for my mouth to cut their heads off. Guess what I learned from them? They not concerned with us. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderers. The odds are stacked against us, so I stay that relentless. Fight to the death and pray the spirit world will grant my entrance. A man of vengeance, I'll be damned if forgiveness flies an eye for an eye this time. That's even if it leaves us blind, see what they did to us. Ridiculous, this peace shit. For they murdering and raping to them blankets of diseases. Say forgiving them for Jesus. I ain't peaceful by a long shot. They need to pay for what they doing in every way they wronged us. They con us out of pocket. Only one way to correct that, that's grab them by their faces and shake them until they neck snap, yeah. Fuck diplomacy, I only see one option now. Molotovs throughout their towns until they buildings dropping down. It sounds excessive, I'm relentless in this way of life. My prayers will guide my actions, I'll stay savage till the day I die. This terrorist fit, if you don't know what my heritage is, it's very specific. Native, free from Americanism. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for my mouth to cut their hands off. Guess what I learned from them? They not concerned with us. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderer. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for my mouth to cut their hands off. Guess what I learned from them? They not concerned with us. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderers. Fuck the core, I'm in a war with they whole fakeness. Have no patience. Native or savage, I'll go ape shit over our subjugation. Suffocated by the rules, they rot. I lose my mind sometimes. You fucking right, it's time to choose a side. It's native on this one. I made it my mission to drop them all, just like the world trade did. I'll smile as I watch them fall. Unstoppable, a lot of the more than you could comprehend. Fuck their rewards and compliments. Knock off the heads of congressmen and any politician. I ain't shaking their dirty hands. You only catch me in their mansions with masks to burn them down. Maybe I'm fucking crazy, but I'm nothing but what they made me. How bad is their disease? Even their priests are fucking. Babies, no, I won't forgive. Not until the skulls are broken into little pieces to set my people free from hopelessness. Hopes within an arm's reach. Coastal shit, we char beat. Return shells, send them to hell until we're all free. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. I ain't praying for my mouth to cut their heads off. Guess what I learned from them? They not concerned with us. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderer. Even the blind could see these people dead wrong. The man repentance, the hand of vengeance for the murderers.